So we are going to see who comes on. I, yeah. <clears throat> I decided that, you know, I'm putting on some makeup to film. Why not chit chat with people while I'm doing it? And yes, I know that means I went live twice in a day. But who cares? It's my channel. <clears throat> As you know, I'm really into, I want to do cute little spring look. Cute little spring look. So let me prep my face. Gonna like take some, just a little um, with toner to like just make sure I'm not stupid any oils that have accumulated because it is kind of like any oils that have accumulated now this is gonna be one of these things where i'm gonna like put makeup on and then film take some pictures and <laughs> take it off so trying not to take you know too much time with it but i probably will but anyway so i need to do that I gotta, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not going out. If I was going out, I would put some oil underneath my eyes just to make sure they're right, just to make sure they're righteous. Hey, Miffy. Oh, oh, I smell good. Oh, man. Okay. So, hi, Chantel. So, I'm gonna put on some makeup. Um, Get that. Let me put, well, okay, I'm just leave my skin the way it is. It looks fine. Let me look. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's prime my eyes as I figure out what I'm going to do with myself. As I figure that out. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of know what I want to do, but I'm going to try to figure this out. What perfume? Um, I'm not going to say now because it's new. <laughs> and I want to uh, review. <laughs> but I'm just smelling myself. <gasps> oh, man. Do I have the hiccup? <gasps> Hiccups. Cause I'm gonna share it soon. <gasps> if you uh watched the haul <gasps> yesterday, it's one of those. Hold up. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I gotta do something about this. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I am put I just put on painterly. Um yeah, they're all on there. This is painterly, this is the paint pot by Mac to prime my eyes. To, to prime them. So I think what I want to do is a blue, since I got all these new um ColourPop ones. I think I want to do now. Dre said that wants me to try to do a mint chocolate look, but I think today I want to go blue, so I'm gonna do a blue yellowish look. So I took out this one, which is the lemonade palette by Midas Cosmetics. So I think I want to use one of these right up in here, like the more pastel yellows, and then I'm gonna use on cloud blue because I want it to be more soft. Because I have brighter blues, but I want it to be a soft blue. So that's that's the plan. We'll see what happens. So we're going to see what happens right now. So I'm going to take um. So I'm going to take this yellow right here. 
right there. And I'm gonna put it in my brow bone and stuff. And we'll see if people notice that we're live. This might be a little brighter than I wanted, but we'll see. Oh, no, it's not. So what y'all doing tonight? You know, honestly, the life of people who do these type of things is like, you know, see, people be like, I'm up at 1 a.m. and I'm putting on makeup. They ain't going nowhere. They just going to film. So they film the makeup. So I'm going to put on this yellow. See how this looks. So I'm hoping I can get this whole spring vibe going. I am using a Sigma E40 blush right now. Oh, will you get your little butt to sleep? Right, cause you're in England, so it's it's like what? One o'clock? Two o'clock in the morning. Okay. So this is cute. Nice little pale yellow. Almost one. Okay. Alrighty, so now let's play with some blues, blues. Okay, I want to try this one and see how it looks, but I'm thinking I might wind up using this one. This is like a very, um, it's very chill right now because nobody's on here but us. Where's my reference? My so I'm gonna use bright eyed with my Wayne Goss 17. Let me pull this off of here so I can actually see. So with my Wayne Goss 17, I am going to Put this right in my crease. Hi. Oh, damn. You want to see how this looks? Good to see you too. So if y'all didn't see the cat had the kittens today, uh, right after I got off the live this, this afternoon, I was walking and I heard I heard crying and she had them in the back of my front closet instead of where I had it all prepared for her of course um yeah oh thank you you know what somebody just said that yesterday and I was like because they don't be looking right to me sometimes um yeah so she was having them in the front closet so I had to move all this stuff. I don't know how she got herself wedged in the back of my front closet, but she made it happen because I mean, she was wedged. 
in the back. There was all kind of stuff in that closet on the floor. She got her stuff all the way in the back. So it's six of them. And they are loud and hungry. So. So even though I had all the intentions of her having them in one closet, I had the closet all ready for, you know, it was all nice. Had her food in there. And she had to just go on and have them on the floor where she wanted to. She was like, that's not where I want to have them, though. So, that's what happened. Okay. So, I'm going to go over the top with that yellow again so I get a nice blend because I don't want to have stripes of color on my eyes. Yes, they can be very contrary. I don't want to have stripes. Hello, can we blend a little better? Okay. And then I'm going to take this one, Love Poem, and I'm going to go over that blue because it's just not blue enough for me. It's looking a little too green. Ah, there we go. Now that's blue. Now that's some blue right there. And I'm gonna cut it so it won't be quite so much but I do want to have some look to this. Want to be nice and springy. <laughs> it's looking green to me, but I, I think I'm just tripping with the lighting. So. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this brush right here and try to blend this all together. Without anything on it, I just want to blend the tops so it's a little more put together. I see people in here, y'all just watching. The hell is going on up here? Oh, it looks a little dirty, but it's not, it's not the color. Hi, Alicia. It's going to be a weird kind of day anyway. How are you, my Melissa? Hi. Hi, Lisa. How's your dad doing, Melissa? Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Alright, so now I'm going to use the darkest one, the true blue, in the corner. See how we can make this look. I'm not sure. But we're going to see what happens. Good. Oh, I know that must be great. I should have known not to go with this yellow with the blue because yellow and blue do make green. <laughs> Hi, 
Hey, cousin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was some. Like I said, if you're interested in anything with it, just let me know. Oh, I didn't know you were back to work. Now, are you in the office? Or are you from home? I know, because I got to go back into the school. That's going to kill me. I have not had to wake up, you know, and roll out of my house in a year now. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is interesting. It's definitely got this kind of push. So yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this up. Oh, okay. Is that the the friend you were telling me about? She was gonna work for the nineteenth. Then go back April nineteenth. Yeah, so I got to practice getting up and, and getting myself together by a good time. So the week before, I'm going to get up early and get dressed like I'm going to work. So, yep. Well, I volunteer, so, you know. Somebody had to go. Somebody go. <laughs> nah, them, them nah, ain't gonna be no early makeup session. I'm barely gonna be getting my black ass up and out. It's gonna be quick makeup. Do we get hazard pay? Hell no. Hell no. It's only gonna be a small class. Right, exactly. Water, skincare. <sighs> and I'm planning on riding my bike to work. So that's the other thing I gotta do is I gotta start riding my bike again. So I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, so I gotta start riding my bike to get myself ready. Yeah, I mean, cause it's like a year, y'all. It's a for real year that I have not gone into work. I don't know how everybody gonna act next year, cause it's only a, it's only a few of us going back. So the gen ed teachers are gonna be off. So, and and I mean it's, but I mean it, it'll kind of almost be the usual for the gen ed. Well, no, not really, um, because they'll be going back in August, I guess. And I don't even know how we, you know, who knows what'll happen in August, shit. Who knows what's gonna happen? There we go. So I'm gonna do this real quick, because I'm trying to see Okay, I see the blue. Okay, I see the blue. I see the blue. And I'm gonna put some more blue on so the So yeah, so <sighs> all right, so now I'm going to clean up my lid so I can, you know, put some whatever, whatever color I'm putting on my lid. This is like a nice quiet gentle live no one's in here i'm sitting here putting on makeup chit chatting seeing what we're gonna do 
So let me clean up this lid. Okay. Juicy is fine. She she popped these kids and babies was out real quick. So she's got six of them. She in there with her six babies. So I did that to see where I should cut the crease. Right? See what I'm saying? I gotta practice getting up on time. Now, you know, she don't fight them till she's done with them. She's a good mama right now. But when she's done, she is done. She don't fight them now. She's loving. She take care of me. She be in there looking like she just a tired mama. Now that's when they get older, then she be like, okay, I've done my job. I'm done with you all. I quit you. And then she definitely quits them. Okay. One eye done. One eye done. Right. They took, yeah, they eight weeks. She done, done. That's why I'm going to have to go get her neutered right away. So this is what I'm doing. So you can see. Um, you can kind of look up. And that tells you, and that gives you your line for where you should be putting your, your uh, you should cut this one with too high. I can look at that and say, okay. My left will be tripping. So I'm using a flat definer brush to do this. So this is a flat definer brush. So you can get that nice crisp cut. This is this uh, Makeup Revolution. This is sort of like the P. Louise stuff. This is the cut crease canvas. It's, it's runny, but it works. You just got to be really light-handed with it because it's real runny. So you just use a little bit. Dab just a little bit on your brush and then do it. Now see what happened? As soon as I was blinking, it kind of made the line where it says, no, this is where your line is on this eye. Make that line now, Louise. So like when you blink with you start, it'll kind of tell you where to define your line at. Um, yeah, it'll kind of help you define the line. Now this one is kind of, and this left one always does this. It goes a little bit higher. So now I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit, just a little bit. This one is always, you see how this one is always just a little blurred and this one be, the right one just be all straight. Straight as a damn arrow. But that's okay, I'm going to clean it up in a second. As soon as it starts drying, I'm going to clean this eye up just a little bit. So it looks like this one. Okay, so let's let that dry for a few minutes and then I can clean it up so it looks right. So anyway, anyhow, anywho, yeah, I'm going to uh, film a couple of things. I started an Amazon haul, but now I'm almost at the end of this damn month. So I guess I'm just going to add on to that Amazon haul and call it a two-month Amazon haul. That's what I think I'm going to do because um, I'm like, you might as well just do it for this month. Because I don't think I bought that much this month. Maybe I did. 
we'll see i'll go through my orders um for my amazon haul okay so yes and then i'm gonna well i was trying to go for so so this is what i did i was trying to go for blue but what I did was I used yellow as a base. And what happens? Yellow and blue make green. So it's semi-minty when it's supposed to be more blue. But, you know, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to see what I can do to, to bring back the blue into this look. It also might be, it might look more green because of the light in here. But we're going gonna to see what I can make happen. Because I'm actually using the blue palette instead of the green palette. So we are going to see what I can make happen. No, it's not the mint chocolate chip because this was not the plan. The mint chocolate chip would have more would have brown in it. I would have the brown. So, but I'm gonna make this work because this is a dark blue right here. You can't see it as dark blue, uh, but it is. And I'm gonna make a darker blue. It's gonna be a darker blue in a minute. As soon as this stuff dries on the this dries i am going to fix this and make it a tad bit more blue at least i'm gonna try fingers crossed at least that's the plan we gonna see what happens um yeah because if that's the case then i gotta change what i'm gonna do in the middle of my at the edge of my eye so so i'm gonna try this blue again on the edge and see what I can make happen. So this is, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's okay. I still had a little oil from I just did a remover right there. There we go, that looks a little more blue. So everybody's posting up their um, their spring fragrances. So I'm gonna do mine, um, but I gotta do a couple of ways because I'm gonna do affordables. Right, right, it might be a tealy blue that's done. Um, I'm gonna do affordables. And um, hi, Sarah, hi, Judith. I'm gonna do affordable ones. Aha, there we go. And there we go, blue. There we go, blue. <laughs> I just need another layer. And I'm gonna hi Abby, and I'm gonna blend it just a little bit. So I'm gonna take this over this. Oh, get that blue man. <laughs> There's that blue. There's that blue. So I'm gonna take the one that I use with the yellow and I'm gonna just give it a little blend right at the top because I don't want it to be just a line across my eyes either. A blue. This one is kind of funny looking right now though. Okay. Okay. So now that we've done that we're gonna put some blue on the lid fingers crossed this works <laughs> so we're gonna put some blue on the lid see how this looks gonna use my favorite crown red sable brush um so we're gonna try this blue right here right there Let's see how this works and if it doesn't, I'm going to layer it <laughs> so it will work out. Okay. Ooh, this is a blue, baby. This is a blue. One thing you can say, ColourPop does have really good um, eyeshadows, which says you don't have to spend a lot to look good. And I think people need to understand that you do not have to spend all your money to look good. Like all these people, I'm bougie. I'm bougie. Everything I do is bougie. It's like, okay, well, thank you. 
Thank you for living that lifestyle for me. And there's nothing wrong with being bougie because Lord knows I am. However, I am, um, I equate bourgeoisie with more than just how much you spend on things like makeup or you buy, you buy designer things. I need you to be a little more cultured on everything to be bougie. And that's just my whole thing. You know, I'm gonna need you to know about food. I need you to be cultured on your food, your wine. I need all that culture. If you gonna call yourself bougie, be, do it, go big or go home. Don't be calling yourself bougie and you drinking fat all about you don't know shit about wine. Don't call yourself bougie, you know, if you don't know about cheeses or anything. Don't do that. So I'm just patting over with this. I'm not putting any more. I'm just patting. And that's me being bougie. Because being bougie is about being cultured on everything, not just spending some money on some bullshit and thinking that makes you bougie. Okay, 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 I'm kind of liking this so far. Just don't let me ramble on. Oh my goodness. This is like a lazy, y'all is barely talking to me. Come on, y'all can talk to me. Come on, okay, so it's looking better. This has this lump because I had put some oil to line up to fix the edges, and now it's like that. Yeah, but we gonna put a wing on and call it a day. When in doubt, wing it out. And I'm going to use this. I think I'm gonna get me some of these. This is the Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner by Maybelline. I kind of like this thing. And I'm usually a gel person. But this is actually kind of working kind of good. Hey, patient. This is working kind of good. So I am going to try it out. We're going to put a wing on. Yep, it's still working, too. It's fine when, yeah, because I'm just rambling on. Um, this blue is pretty. I want to make it work. No oh, shit. You can never do what? Put a, 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 sure you could. Everything is about practice. If you don't do it, then of course you can. I think I want to do some kind of really pretty creative looks and really play with makeup. I'm getting back into my makeup because <laughs> you know, we all know how we were. And so I, I think in the last few weeks I put on makeup more than I had almost all of 2020, <laughs> for real. For real, for real. Okay, side done, let's do this side. This is how I do it, for real. Now, the trick is, um, the trick is, is that you have to anchor your elbow. So, but on this side I can't, cause I'm left-handed and then I can't see. So I have to be a little better. 
So this side I have to build up more. Because I have to be a little less precise. And then it works it out. to get a new one of these. Well, that makes sense if you have a phobia about it. Yeah, you could never do this. You wearing boyfriend? Okay. Yeah, this is one of those pastels you was talking about. Remember the pastels that look like chalk and all that other bullshit you said? Yeah, that's what this is right now. this one gets away from me let me stop let me stop because I can feel this wing getting away from me <laughs> hi Pam hi yeah and I and I haven't I I had creepy cute and it was terrible um that was a terrible one. So I wanted to get better ones for this year because I really was in the mood um, to wear more pastel -y colors this year during the season. But I do know what you meant, um, Tara, because if done wrong, pastels do look chalky. Some people do be looking like they wear chalk on their face. That ain't no lie. So I'm just messing with you, girl. Um, so let me put on some eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeliner. This is one I could use. I could use this one. It just don't. It never comes out that good on me. It's like uh, nah. It's okay. But I will say, for quality and consistency of eyeshadows, Color Pop is good. I mean, yeah, Pat and all the rest of them are good. Oh, shit. Okay, so this ain't gonna work. That's right. That's what I'm using. Um, but, you know, ColourPop get in and do their thing. This is what I'm looking for. I got all these damn eyeliners. I can never find the one I want. Hi, Tora. Um, creepy cute. Yes, the company that makes them, she now calls it Shroud Cosmetics. Um, and so yeah, she's kind of gothic. Her style, her style is very gothic. I'm gonna use this one. Oh no, that's lavender. Here it is. Not my face. That's emerald. I did not know I had all these back here. What the hell? I don't want to wear brown though. I want to wear gray. Hmm. <laughs> here it is. Okay, sorry. I was looking for the right. Um, where do you buy ColourPop? You can buy ColourPop from um, Ulta on the ColourPop site. Um, I usually buy from ColourPop because they usually have good sales. So I usually go on their site to get stuff because they have they have sales. Unless I'm doing some because have you noticed we don't never get points for ColourPop on um on Ulta and they don't do multiplies for color because they're not buying. Okay, so I'm gonna do some gray in my waterline.
Now, of course, to many people, I should not be wearing this eyeshadow because I'm 53. Because there's this thing about, you know, you, when you get older, you need to be more subdued. You need to be more this. Child, please. But what the fuck you want to wear? And you know what you should be when you get older? Who the fuck you want to be? And if you can't figure that out by then, then that's and that is the truth. They got 25% off now. Yeah. Yeah, in life, especially as you get older, you better recognize. You better you better be who the fuck you want to be. Because so often, oh, damn it. You know, folks be worried about everybody around them and trying to please and get approval from motherfuckers who don't mean a damn thing. I think we spend way too much time trying to get approval from people that don't matter. And, um, and honestly, you know, I have my moments. Hey, I'm here on YouTube. So on, there's a certain level of, you know, I'm trying to get it. I need to get people's approval. Um, you know, to watch me and interact with me and everything. But at the end of the day, you got to go. No, nah, that's okay. Gas to go. That's okay. I'm okay with where I am and who I am. And I think so often, and you know, the, the main people who spend so much time seeking approval are, hey, Dre, I know, right? Well, because what happens is while you're seeking other people's approval, you unhappy. You're unhappy. Yes, it's ColourPop and Midas Cosmetics because I wanted to do a little yellow. And then I used some of the ColourPop. Right. That's so very true. Yep. Okay, boom, boom, boom. All right, eyes are done. Let's do some face work. Let's do some face work. They look like the beach. Thank you. So yeah, I I, I hung out with G Sun. And some of y'all, if you haven't seen in the community tab, kitten watches over. The kittens are here. She popped these babies out quick too. She they was coming. They was like, okay, we've been in here too long. But she has six of them. With her contrary ass, she went and had them in my front closet. Oh. With her so contrary ass. So she, um. Right. Oh, yeah. See, you know, I got all kind of lights. Yeah, she has six this time. Um, and she got all the way in the back of my front closet now i have all kinds of stuff in the back of my in my closet luckily thank god thank god she went all the way to the back to have him because when i opened up the closet some things had fallen down some designer bags there was a fendi bag on the floor um um you know there was a fendi bag on the floor a couple of fendi bags on the floor some you know some old little bags i have natasha and if she had dropped them on them, I'd have been like heart fucking broken. Whew, but luckily that didn't happen. So crisis averted. Because I was trying to get her ass to happen where I wanted her to, but she just would not cooperate. Whew. So, all right, so we're going to put some concealer under my eyes. I'm using my Milani. Milani Conceal and Perfect is so good. So if you're looking for an inexpensive um, one, if you're looking for an inexpensive concealer, 
I'm not putting on my snatched dose of colors today. Because dose of colors will snatch you up. Well, this is good too. This is very similar to the Too Faced one, which I love too. Yeah, she was real difficult. I had a whole space together in the in the class she had them before. And I mean, she had her little self balled up all at the back. I mean, there was no room for her to have all the fucking uh, kittens. But she was... But she got them out. She got them out. And so the kittens are here. Ray, he she just, I mean, she was all the way at the back. Um, and then I keep a lot of, I have bag, I have boxes with my perfume boxes in it. So I had to take all that out. My, and my, my, my suitcases are in there. Luckily they got rollers. Because she cleaned up, but still, she was messy. Oh, made my eye water. You haven't done your makeup in a year, but honey, it's time to bust out that makeup and put some on. I right, listen. In the last few weeks, I put on more makeup, and I almost did all year. I poked myself in his eye. Okay. I'm trying to use this up because I this is one of my stay naked and it's almost gone. So I'm trying to use it up. Get rid of ooh. The hell? Look at how bad this looks. But it's almost used up. So I only got a few more uses of it. You have an unused Pat McGrath powder? Girl, you better bust that thing out. You better bust that thing out. You better bust out that Miss Pat. Is it just me or is there something about putting on putting on a good, like, you know, people putting on foundation or whatever? But when you start looking at your face, you're going, oh my gosh, look at me. I'm looking good. What's your favorite wine? If you're a wine drinker, what's your favorite wine? I'm curious. What type of wine do you drink? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Go and do your thing, Karen. Karen, you have been you have been doing that the whole time. You never stop putting on your makeup. Um, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? Yeah, like I was saying. What's your favorite wine? The one in my glass. You know what? What damn kind? I mean, cause like I'm a Pinot Noir drinker. Excuse me. Uh, I'm a Pinot Noir drinker primarily. I love a good Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, you drink margaritas, okay? You love bread. Um, my go-to is Pinot Noir. So my favorite is, yes, Midnight Sun and Double Down Rim. Have you all tried the 19 Crimes, the um, 19 Crimes, but then they have the Snoop Dogg one? Oh my God, if you love a good red, it's a good one, especially if you don't like a red that's super dry, because it has a juiciness to it. Oh, I love Pui Fuse. 
Uh, that's the first one I ever really drank. Um, when I was a, when I was young. Yes, honey, that Snoop Dogg is so good. Um, when I was young, uh, my father, my father was worked in the banquet department um, of hotels, and so he used to bring home stuff like that. He used to bring home like so I was strict so he would bring home after like um after certain um events that would be extra you know that had been paid for so they would take it home you know that's wrong but they did that's what the, that's what they did and so my father would so I grew up on you know so he had us drinking so I was drinking wine when I was like nine you know I, you know tasting it so I um <laughs> So we had, um, I drank Pouille Fousse. I was drinking Dom Perignon because he would bring champagne home. So, and he would, you know, he would always bring the good stuff. So I grew up drinking that. So uh, he would bring reds home, but I was too young. The reds were too um, deep for me. You know, I was like nine. But I did love it. I did love the Pouille Fousse. I'm gonna tell you what, my father got me into drinking beer. My father used to drink, he, you know, he drank beer, but he drank um, St. Pauli Girl. He drank, he drank really expensive. Um, he used to let me, he used to drink really expensive beer. And so I asked him, but I was like, you know, I want to know what beer tastes like. You know, you drinking it. So I was about 12 years old. My father was like, okay, come on. And I, he used to, because when he got paid, he would buy a, a, a case of beer. Um... And he was like, okay, let's do this. Hold on, let me get my shot, my stash. Let's see if we're going to get out the stash. Let's see if we're going to get out the stash. Right. Honey, it wasn't, a, no, it wasn't a sip. My father gave me a bottle. So he would get paid and we would, he would buy, the, he'd bring the beer and then we'd go to drink beer. And, um, one day I was drinking it, and I said, "You know, Daddy, this is nasty." He was like, "Really?" I was like, "Yeah, I really like it." He was like, "Okay," and I really have never drunk drunk beer since then because I was like, "You know, I really don't like the taste of beer," and so I stopped drinking beer, and and I've had it since then here and there, and I really don't like it. So you know, I got out of the, the whole thing early with beer. It was like, mm, this just don't, mm, this don't taste good to me. I'm trying to decide what bronzer I'm using. Oh, you know I'm using right now. I have to use this because I'm still light enough for it. I got to use my Jouet because this was they, what they call medium to dark. And this shit is light as hell. So I have to use it now because I'm still light enough for the medium to dark. Is like nuts at all. Now, the one thing I will say is when you do things like this, you need to pre keep everything else kind of toned down. So I'm gonna do a neutral color um, blush because I want it all to be. I don't have them either. Oh, you just said that. I'm trying to use up some bronzes right now, and then I'm gonna get the Charlotte Tilbury. You reminded me of that. I do need to try that. I need the Charlotte Tilburys in my life. I, okay, here's a confession. I never bought the Fenty ones either. I never bought them. I kept forgetting. Bronzer is one of those things that I don't buy. I I kind of have a I have a bunch, and I'm like, um, and I like them. So I haven't really been like dying to buy new ones. Okay. Hmm. So I want to go with a more, <laughs> you know what I should have used? I should have used, no, nah, I shouldn't have. I have my little Urban, I should have, I should have used this one, Drizzle. Um, oh, I want those. I, did they come out yet? Because I saw her talking about them, and I didn't know if they were out yet. Oh, blush. What am I looking for? Blush, blush, blush. Okay, I'm going to use one of these tart ones. Um. 
tell us about my tattoos. Um, uh, hold on. Let me see which one I'm going to use. Okay. Let's either that one. I'm looking at these. Right, that Too Faced chocolates. Right, it's like once you have certain a certain amount of blood. Uh, oh, so too Damn it! Oh, okay. I'm looking at all of these. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. What was sixteen dollars? What on Fenty or on Sephora? So I'm using this one. What was sixteen dollars? I'm gonna need you to explain it to me. But I'm I ain't got no money till tomorrow anyway. The color rain browsers? Oh shit! Let me go look. Let me go look. Let. Me... I mean. And sometimes it's just like you know the good because like my staples my my bays are my uh la rock bronzers beach betty and tan lines are bay okay and let's grab a little highlighter in this life i need to get some more of these right i'm like when did they they got bronzers now they don't sell let me go look at that shit. okay I'm going to use uh, Blissful. I'm gonna use Blissful. I don't even know if I do, cause I'm, I done got rid of them. So this is my Oprah, Oprah. Woo, child. Do y'all see that? Child, this is one of my favorite uh highlighters. This is Blissful by Ofra. That's this one right here. You can't tell me nothing. Um, the one thing 21 Days of Beauty is gonna have Fix Plus on sale again. Um, you know, Mac Fix Plus. I'm gonna buy me two more backup. And I was looking, I already have two backups already of my Fix Plus, but I feel like one day they're not gonna have it on sale, and then I'm gonna be mad, right. That's why you need to pull out, shop your stash, and use those things for a while to really know if you like them. But like when it comes to my bronzers, I know what I like because I don't really change up bronzers too much. I use those. Honestly, I don't think I've... Um... Oh, snap. $16? Shit. Okay. So now I'm going to need to get some. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty blush. Okay, so now we're there. All right, so let me, I said fix plus because I'm about to spray my face down. And then I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. Oh, no, no, no. Let me do under eyes. Under eyes, under eyes, Louise. Let's do some under eyes. Let's, let's pop these under eyes, girl. Let's pop these under eyes. And I'm going to go with this color under eyes as opposed to the darker one. We're going to go a little bit lighter under these eyes. And how do you like it? One shimmer blush. No, 
NYX makes really good products. I don't like their eyeshadows. Um, okay, setting spray, setting spray questions. What's your questions? Oh my God, that is so hot and beautiful and I'm in love with it. All right, and then I'm gonna do this blue taffy, this really um, light, light, light in the inner corner. Didn't you say, um, that's what I said, um, it takes the powdery look down. So like, because I'm sitting at home, I'm just going to do a fix spray. I do the fix spray to like bring the powders down to fix the, the, the powdery look. Then you put on your setting spray. But since I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going to do a setting spray. But like I said, if I'm going someplace, I do fix I do fix plus, and then I do a setting spray. So that's a good question. So just be, but so I always do fix plus, especially if I'm just sitting at the house. I'm just going to take some pictures. I, I'm just worried about getting these, you know, bringing down that powdery look, fixing everything in place. I didn't understand it for a while and then all of a sudden I tried some fixing spray and I was like, OMG, this is what it's for. And I was a Fix Plus girl ever since. But um, Ulta is going to have Fix Plus half price. I would suggest getting at least two bottles because once you buy it, once you try it, you're going to be like, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on the circle local ones. So we all got our refer brushes today. Yes, we got our refer brushes. We got our refer brushes. Now I have to decide which wig I'm gonna put on. Which wig should I put on? Should I put on? I'm going short today. So should I go with the blonde one or should I? Um, yes, I like the primer water too. They ain't got that on sale though. Oh, you posted up a look, Miss Thay? I ain't seen it. I'm gonna go have to look at your look, girl. I got to go look at your look. Now I got some eyelashes out, so I'm not gonna try to pull out any more eyelashes. Cause I got a bunch out right now. <gasps> I forgot, damn it. No, I'm just taking pictures. No, I got a video. This is this is a life of a YouTuber and stuff, Alicia. You know, hell no, I ain't going to place. In regular, if it was a regular life, I might be going someplace. Y'all know I ain't put no primer on, but that's okay. It don't matter. My skin was good. It ain't like it's not like I needed it. Maybe I'll put on these color. Uh, I think I'm gonna put these on. These are nice and fluffy and big. They got some bigness to them. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, post up on IG. You know, you got to do your IG posting and shit. You know, you guys to do your thing. I, I know I'm going to do, we're going to go with a, so we're going to help pick me pick out my lipstick just in a minute. So, I think I know I'm going nude because this is such a vibrant eye look. Here are the lashes because they just sit now. So these are these are actually colored rain lashes. These are CR023. These are cute too. Um I uh, didn't clean them. Uh, no, I didn't. Let me clean them right quick so I can wear them. Let me clean my tweezers first because you always want to clean them to get off the old glue so your lashes don't stick things you must do and then i'm going to clean off the um 
clean my lashes just a little bit. Coco be doing them looks now. That's why everybody's like, why doesn't she have a YouTube channel? I'm just saying. Oh my God, speaking of YouTube channels, this is the funniest thing. I was just watching, I've been watching, um, I've been watching, um, what's this show called? Love It or List It. Because I have Discovery Plus. Um, no, she's not for Play Play at all. Um, I've been watching Love It or List It, right? And so they had this one episode, and this was like in 2014 or no, 2016. It's this, they're in, Cal in Carolina, and they're talking about, you know, and then they got this one girl on there. One of the homeowners <laughs> says she's like a beauty expert. They keep calling her a beauty expert. And she's a beauty expert. And she's a beauty expert, right? And she's and they're showing how she's saying she needs a video room and um, all this, right? Hey, this is the funny part. So me and B are watching it. And B goes, she ain't no video expert. She ain't no beauty expert. Her makeup ain't that great, right? That's the first thing she said. And like they show her in this room. Now, mind you, they had a room for her. So it wasn't like they needed to create space. There was a room in the house for her. So the thing was, what the fuck you want them to do for you? So basically, she was looking for them to do some shit that she didn't do for her own self. So basically, when they showed her, she just basically had like a futon in there and was trying to do videos. That's fine. But it you, it was like when I was watching, I said, I don't think she's really into I said, she ain't even got that much makeup because it wasn't like, you know, because if you have a beauty room and you're doing stuff like that, you wind up with like, everybody got the Alex drawers. Everybody got the Ikea Alex drawer desk system or whatever to do something. She had a little something. And she's like, can I need a video room? Well, it ain't that hard to pull together a video room, especially when you have a room, right? Uh so <laughs> i'm looking up because i always look up people and so i find on guru gossiper they talked about it and they were like they they found her you know somebody found her they was like well how many subscribers does she have you know because clearly she's saying she does youtube she had 36 subscribers at the time that the show was on when the show aired she had 36 subscribers i kid you not right baby oh yes ikea didn't have to make nothing else and they don't have to make nothing else in life but them damn ikea drawers uh, so so they were like she she had 36 right so then and then they were actually when you pull it up on you know google you know they show her right so i saw some videos of hers so i, I opened them up baby girl only got a thousand a little bit over a thousand subscribers right now in 2021 i'm like well clearly that beauty expert uh thing didn't work out for you <laughs> i was like and she still does film so it isn't like she hasn't been filming hold on let me get this lash on Um, I didn't put, I started to watch one, Melissa, because I was like, just curious about it. So I am going to watch one, though. Because it was like, whoa, 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 wait. Five years later, you still, you only got a thousand subscribers. And that's no shade, but... Five years ago, you needed, um, you needed a beauty room, right? You needed a video room, and they trying to give her stuff. Um, 
if you look up, if you if you search this, if you search love it or list it beauty expert, um, beauty expert, right? You would have thought she would have got some more after that, but. Okay, that lash is on perfectly now. I was just, but it was hilarious. Um, I was like, I'm like, girl. I mean, cause it, like I said, no shade, but it's like you were already proclaiming you were a beauty expert to get on the show. And right, she should have been working that hustle. And I think they sued Love It or List It too. Because I, I was, Sometimes when I watch stuff like that, I get curious. Oh my God. So let me tell you what I saw. Things I like, because I've been watching Discovery Channel, you know, Discovery Plus a lot. Because B got it. So we've been streaming it. So did you know that the Property Brothers, Jonathan and Drew, them mofos is worth $200 million. Them brothers is worth a whole lot of money. And so, so like, okay. And then they were saying, like, I was reading stuff up, like, um, on Love It or Listed. And I'm still watching it, but it was quite interesting to see some things about the show. Um, like it said that on Love It or Listed, uh, right, see, exactly. Um, cause I mean, who, why you, why everybody got to get, you know, we all sharing passwords. Um, so things about love it or listed, they said that a couple of things, they said that of course, um, a lot of people get on there just cause they try. Right. Yeah, exactly. Cause you know, they got 17,000 shows and, and, um, on HGTV. And I know they produce a lot of those shows. You know, after the first Property Brothers, they were producing all those shows themselves. So that's extra money. Um, and then um, Chip and Joanna Gaines, because um, I watch them, because I love them. You know, they got their own network on Discovery Channel now. There's a there's a Magnolia network. One thing I will say about them, I, will, I will, we were watching them, and I said, one thing you got to say about Chip and Joanna you have got to say now that is truly a man who understands what he's doing because joanna is the brains in that crew i mean chip is cool and shit and he knows his business but joanna is the brains joanna has the big vision and chip just rolls with it and goes okay and gives her what she wants because you know they own bed they own bed and breakfast they own um b and b's in in austin in uh waco texas that area they have that big huge complex they have they got a restaurant they joanna ain't ain't no punk joanna is no punk oh yeah chip is a nut but he understands my wife got the right idea and he rolls with what she say they bought that silo because of her ass so they and now they have a whole network on discovery plus with other shows they're doing besides their fixer upper they're doing other people you know they've got other people doing shows remember the guy clint who makes all that uh work woodwork for them he has a show on there now um and then some other people that they know they've given them show they're getting them shows i'm like go on chip and joanna So yeah, they have the Magnolia Network on Discovery Plus. You saw her? <laughs> you found that, Alicia. Girl, yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. We was looking at like, um, she, her makeup ain't even that good. I know her last name is like, oh, I love House Hunters International. That's what I got to start watching now, binge watching now. I 
I love, yeah, I like House Hunter International because it really does let you see other countries and things. It's really interesting. Lashes are on, lashes are on. I'm squeeze these babies. Always give them a good squeeze. Make sure they on good. Always give them a good squeeze, y'all. Make sure you got them on so you ain't got no gaps. Okay. No gaps here. No gaps here. All right, so now let's talk. Let me put on some um, mascara. Go ahead and get it all off. Let's talk lipstick as I put on my mascara on my under eyes. Now, if you notice, I do not put on, I know they always say to put um, mascara on your eyelashes before you put on matte before i guess if you have straight eyelashes you should my eyelashes curl so i don't so if you're eye, if you like i guess if you have straight eyelashes you should put on some mascara so i don't know maybe but i don't put on any and that kind of saves your eyelashes because they don't become crispy and then you know underneath this your your lashes so i don't put um mascara on Hi, Jenny, how are you? I'm like, what is this? This is on my eye. Okay. So what mascara I'm using right now is Tarte Lash, Tarte Lash Paint. Is this Lash Paint? Yeah, this is Lash Paint. Right, but you know, some people put it on and I don't. I just do my under eyes. Okay, so now let's talk. Cabotine. Okay. All right. So let's. Dre, you see, I gave up that show part. Now, interesting thing, you see that people can have such diametrically opposed taste in perfumes. Because all my perfumes that I love, Donnie couldn't stand. And all the perfumes I don't like, she's like, oh my God, that's so good. Oh my God. Because I tried to smell whipped again today, and I was like, nope, I still smell burnt rubber. Still smell the burnt rubber. Okay, so let's pick out some lipstick to wear. Girl, thank you. When she smelled my wild pot, I swear I was about to kick her ass out. And I thought... Um... I was about to kick her ass out. And I was like, hold up. Right, it, yeah, it was, because she could have that stuff. I gotta take that off of my um out of my database though. I'm like, hold up, sis. Hold up. I was about to have one of those like YouTuber moments. You know how people like leave stuff in your comments about you don't like it, you don't know nothing. I was about to have one of the moments with her, but I said, you know, she got her own vibe, she like her own thing. Okay, calm it down, roll it back. Okay, so let's look for some lipstick to wear. Let me pull out some colors. Let's see what we got here. No, not that one. I think I'm gonna go with like a more peachy. You know, I was, about to, I was about to have one of the moments. But then I said, okay, she can like what she like, even though she don't know shit. <laughs> you don't like Entice either. See, I love Entice. This is staunch. This is one I always wear. So this is staunch. Ooh, 
Ooh, I was wearing this one for a minute. I'm gonna have to switch up my stuff too. Oh, this is honey. Honey is beautiful. I think I wanna do honey. That's honey. And then with a little lip gloss on. No, that's Ruby Woo. We're not wearing no Ruby Woo. Leche. Now, do I have Snuggle? I don't think I have Snuggle. Or do I have and I just don't like it? I don't think I have Snuggle. I have I have Leche Galletas, of course. Um, that's, that's one of my favorites. You know, let's just talk about fragrances for a minute. Do you have fragrances that you like, but you really don't see that, but you like, but am I really gonna wear this? I was thinking about that because it's not that I don't think they're good fragrances, but it's like, where am I gonna wear this fragrance? Like certain gar gourmands, I'm like, do I, other than sitting in my house, am I gonna go out smelling like, you know, fresh baked cookies? Okay. Um. These are all uh, nice colors. All um, my bites are deep colors and things like that. You know, it's like I love them, but then I think about it, it's like, what am I gonna wear? This is bite. This is bite right here. It's like I like them, but I don't wear them because I'm like, mmm. So I really want to smell like this outside in these in these streets. This is not today. I think I'm leaning toward honey. I think I like honey best for today of the ones I'm just yanking out. I mean, I got melts. Now, see, I wear Club de Nuit Intense. Um, Shagaf Oud. Now, let me tell you something, though. No, for real, for real, where that Shagaf Oud out, Drea? Men love that consent. I've had men, I've gotten so many compliments on that one wearing it out. So I'm just telling you. Because that's Ubu K basically. Yeah, wear that out, child. Wear that out. Okay, honey. Honey, what is that? Okay. Yeah. One of the ones that I'm thinking about, right? Yeah, yeah, the compliments are. It's La Danza. The, the, you know, the No Bill 1942. Because it's such a, like, lemon, apple pie-ish kind of vibe. I'm like, I think, you know, well, so I'm going through something. I'm going, uh, Right, exactly. Yeah, now I ain't gonna wear it in the house. If I'm going out though, I will rock some Shaga food or Ubu K. Okay, so now. <gasps> really? Now, gas to put on one of our lip glosses let's put on some lip gloss and then i gotta put some hair on some put on amber on top Woo, child you can't tell me nothing you can't tell me nothing thank you drea for this one because i love these glosses these glosses are awesome these are awesome. Okay, the face is on. Now I gotta figure out what hair I'm gonna wear. You know you, you're doing some shit when you're like, okay, so now what hair am I gonna wear? So I think I'm gonna go, I think the blonde will work. With the little, the little bob with the blonde. I think that'd be kinda cute. Yeah, I like amber. I like this one a lot. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go, so now I can, uh, and then I change my shirt and put on some hair put on my hair and uh take some pictures uh 
Thank you for telling us about these glosses, girl, because these have usurped, these are taken over for my um those of color glosses because I love um I love my uh those of color glosses. Those are my those are my bay. But these are this is amber. This is amber right here. But it came out good. Okay, I like it. The look came out nice. Ooh, child. Yes. Yes. I want to do a sunset eye soon. I haven't done that recently. I haven't done a sunset eye in a long time. I got to think about the colors for a good sunset eye. I think I want to do a, like a sunset eye soon. All right, y'all. The face is done. I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to go on and put on a different t-shirt and a shirt and then I'm going to film a few things just a few things for today well I think I'm put that on that'll be cute with this and that's it that's it thank y'all for hanging out with me right exact baby yes yes they are and yeah because you know I have my I needed to like switch out my um, lipsticks because right now I got a lot of reds and stuff out which I'm not gonna wear so I gotta switch out my lipsticks on the top because I don't because I'm not wearing those but I switch out my see I'm seasonal about my lipsticks too so everybody people who everybody who knows me knows that so I switch out my lipsticks every season from you know spring to spring summer fall winter so because I mean you I'm not wearing like my deep dark colors when it's springtime out in summer so i always switch out all my my uh lipsticks but since i have this bigger desk now i can have how many is this right here two fours i can have about 48 out i can have four dozen on my desk so i gotta switch out to the top 48 because um yeah, so I keep those. So since I have two of these up, so then I got to go through them. Because like I have my Juvia's Place and stuff um, um, out. And so I'm going to get put away um, a lot of the things that I'm just not going to wear now. They can go back over there on the shelves. And then, but what I really want to do is do some, um, do a little more rotation. Because I'm not wearing all of my lipsticks. And they ain't going nowhere. I know people be like, um, isn't it? Did the Ofer ones already go on sale? Did they already do them already, Karen? Because I I know they no they had the Becca ones. The Ofer highlighters are about to go on sale half price on the Ulta Twenty One Days of Beauty. This one is blissful. Um, Bali is good if you want a deeper one. Um, they they they're all nice. I've had I have the other one that's here's the three that I have. I had the other one too. This is Star Island. And what's the other one that's really popular? Because I used to have that when I gave it away. Their Ofra has really nice, beautiful highlighters. So if you're looking if in the market for one, get them when they have price. So this is Blissful, and this is Bali, and this is Star Island. Star Island is really, um, is really you know, a paler one. But they have another one that's super popular. I can't think of the name of it. Um, and that one's beautiful, too. So what i did was i had because i had a full i had a couple of full ones but then i got this and i was like okay this is all i need this, this is all i need yep where did i get this scarf girl i've had this scarf forever and ever and ever this scarf you know how you got your hair scarves that you've had forever i've had this thing for at least 20 years at least 20 years so it's just a scarf that i've always had you know and it's been my head scarf forever you know all right, y'all. So I got look. I got my braids in, so I can take these out. Put my wig cap on. Put my hair on. And uh, thank you, thank you. So yeah, I gotta I gotta put these down and put these up in a wig cap and put that wig on, girl. Put my hair on. Put my hair. Oh, my hair smells so good. But that's my oil. That's my oil smells good. Ooh, my hair smells good. All right, y'all. So I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a great day. I'm about to do some filming, some pictures. All right. See you later. As I come, you know, and take this off.